friends. Welcome back to Unite Star Pro Coaching. This is the fourth tutorial in which we are going to learn the analysis of a fixed beam, which is subjected to couples slash moments, a point load and UDL over some portion. Let us consider a beam of span 9 meter which is fixed at the end, A and B and it is carrying a UDL of 12 kN per meter at a distance of 1.5 meter from left part, two couples of 6 kN per meter at 3.5 meter and 6 meter, clockwise and anticlockwise in nature respectively, from left hand side. A point load of 26 kN is also acting from right hand side, at a distance of 1.5 meter. So, let's analyze the beam using Start Pro software. First of all, open the Start Pro. Next thing to do is, click on the new project and take on space. Enter the file name you want to give to your model. I will put it as, Tutorial 4. Now give the location where you want to save your project. I have created a folder called Tutorial 4, in D drive and I am giving this path. You can give any path you want and click OK. Select length unit as meter and force unit as kilo newton, click next, and click finish. Let the start pro generate your model with these default settings. There are different views available here, as I discussed in my previous videos. So, to draw a beam, directly select the front view. That is view from positive Z direction. Now, go to geometry. Close this window. And enter the coordinates as 0, 0, 0. You will get this point called node in Start Pro. Now, there are different cursors here. For example, if you want to select this node, you will have to select node cursor from here. Similarly if you want to select a beam you have to select beam cursor. Now I am selecting node cursor. Select this node and right click the mouse button and select copy. Or simply press Ctrl C on your keyboard and paste this node by pressing Ctrl V, at a distance of 9 meter in X direction and click OK. Now, click on that beam symbol here. And draw a beam from this node to this node. With this, our modeling part is over. Now, go to General, go to Support, click on Create, click on Fixed, and then Add. Select Support 2. Select the nodes. Where you want to give this support. Click assign to selected nodes. Click assign, yes. Next part is to give loading. For that, go to load and definition, click load case details, click add. Select the load type as none, and give any load title. I will keep it as load case 1. Now, click add, close. Click on load case 1, and click on add. For the UDL, click member load, and select uniform force, take W1 as minus 12 kN per meter. The negative sign is because, the load is acting in downward direction. N to D1 is equal to 0, D2 is equal to 1.5, and D3 is equal to 0. Here. D1 is the point, from where UDL is starting, D2 is the point, at which UDL is finishing, and D3 is the starting point of the beam. Now, select direction as global Y, that is GY and click add. For the moment, click on member load, click on concentrated moment. The first moment is clockwise in nature. Therefore, Take P is equal to minus 6 kN meter. And it is acting at a distance of 3.5 meter. Therefore, take D1 is equal to 3.5 meter and D2 is equal to 0. Here D1 is the distance of moment from start point of the beam and D2 is the starting point of the beam. 
select direction as global Z direction, which is GZ direction, and click add. Similarly, for the second anticlockwise moment, take P is equal to positive 6 kN. It is acting at a distance of 6 m from starting point of the beam. Therefore, take D1 is equal to 6 m and D2 is equal to 0. Select direction as global Z direction, which is GZ direction, and click add. The last load to be assigned is the point load. For assigning point load, click member load, and select concentrated force, take P as minus 26. The negative sign is because, the load is acting in downward direction. N to D1 is equal to 7.5 meter, and D2 is equal to 0. Distance D1 is the distance from start point of the beam, and D2 is the starting point of the beam, from where your beam is starting. Now, select direction as global Y, that is GY, and click add, and close. As I have said in my previous videos, it's showing question mark here, because, we have not yet assigned these loads to the beam. Select this uniform force, select beam, click on assign to selected beams, assign, yes. Similarly, select these moments one by one. And directly click on assign to selected beams, assign, and yes. At the last, select this concentrated load, the beam is already selected, so directly click on assign to selected beams, assign, yes. To scale the loading, click on the symbol over here. The last part before analysis is to assume some suitable section for the beam. For that, go to property, click on define, select rectangle, select material as concrete. I am assuming the section as 0.23 meter by 0.38 meter. You can assume any standard size you want. Click add, close. Select this section, select beam, click assign to selected beams, assign, and yes. Now, our beam is ready to analyze. Go to commands, analysis. Perform analysis, no print, ok. Click on analyze, run analysis, and click save. Wait for the beam to analyze. It may take some time to analyze, depending upon your computer speed. After the analysis, check for the errors. See, there are no errors, therefore our analysis is correct. Go to Post Processing Mode, click Done, Apply, OK. First, we will check the deflection of beam. The deflection symbol is already on here. So, Directly go to results, view value, beam results, take on maximum resultant displacement. Click on annotate, close. See it's showing the value of deflection directly on the diagram itself. You may also check this value in this table here. Click on maximum relative displacements. To scale the deflection in the diagram. Press Ctrl button on your keyboard and roll the mouse cursor. You may also check deflection values at different points in the beam. For that, click on all relative displacements. See, there are different deflection values here. Next part is to check shear force and bending moment values. For that, click on beam, click on maximum bending moment in table. To scale the bending moment diagram, press Ctrl button on your keyboard and roll the mouse cursor. Similarly, to check maximum shear forces, click on maximum shear forces in table. To scale the shear force diagram, press Ctrl button on your keyboard and roll the mouse cursor. To know values of shear force and bending moment at different points in the beam, click on all. See, there are different values of shear force and bending moment is available. In this way, 
you can analyze a fixed beam, which is subjected to couples slash moments, a point load and UDL over some portion, using Start Pro. Thanks for watching this video, please like, share and subscribe for more Start Pro tutorial videos. If you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to ask. And comment your doubts in the comments section below. Thank you.